today from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. This is the National Football League. Wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. And the Texans set to take over on offense, and we see them led out by their veteran quarterback in his 11th season in the NFL, but first in the Lone Star State, Tyrod Taylor. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Now Taylor on first down, being chased. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jack Lawson. Showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. So still 14 yards to go, second down. The first carry now, this is Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. Apparently this defense has come to play. A sack and a run stop behind the line on the first two plays. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here's Taylor. Rumbling past the 30. And all the way up to the 31-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. The Texans' new punter for 2021, Cameron Johnston, on to punt. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep.
It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The Jets about set to go on offense, led by their rookie quarterback for 2021, the second overall pick. Zach Wilson out of BYU. During the draft process, it was pretty clear early that Jacksonville was locked in on Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback at Clemson. That allowed the Jets to really peruse the rest of the quarterback crop, and they settled in on Zach Wilson from BYU. Loved his game, ability to throw from the pocket, the off-platform throws, getting outside of the pocket and making plays. He's their guy, and they expect him to be that guy for at least the next 10 years. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. up now on a second and 15 following that sack. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Third down, Wilson. They'll set up the screen to Carter. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. There for the tackle, Jacob Martin. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Wilson. And he finds Corey Davis. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 38-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. On first and 10, it's Carter. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the shotgun, Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Carter. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. 
His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage, but now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's gonna throw the football, that could be pinpoint here. Yeah, so I was gonna ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just wanna see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Touchdown, Jets! Corey Davis, a two-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Desmond King on the return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. free of one tackle but it slowed his momentum somewhat and he's taken down right after he'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down yeah he only gets a few yards on first and ten but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse an interception second down at seven from the shotgun it's Taylor and he finds Danny Amendola his first catch, good for nine and a first down. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Over the middle here to Brown. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Off the play fake, here's Taylor. Caught here by Conley. 
First target, first catch, and a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On first down, it's Taylor. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Taylor will throw again. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Second down now. It's Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at it. And that will be incomplete. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Fairbairn able to put this one through. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Zach Wilson and the Jet offense set to take over here. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. Yeah. 
And they work this well upfield across the 45. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Well, prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game, you know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. Over the middle complete, that's Davis. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 37. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing again here, Wilson. Throw left side, complete. That's Johnson. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's second and a yard. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Davis. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, Wilson. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Three yards remain for second down. Wilson will throw again. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis as the first half is winding down. And the Jets will extend their lead here just before halftime. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here.
The extra point up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Desmond King now to return it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. play of the half it's Taylor that's complete to the tight end Akins and brought down but not before reaching the 45 yard line so we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman he has our EA Sports halftime report okay Brandon thanks very much and welcome in everyone to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report all right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. second half here's Coleman now to return and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive and his two touchdowns a big reason they're winning right now so meaningful when you score and it's got your team out there in front changes the complexion of everything you're doing. It's one thing to score a oh, garbage time, but these count. This is a big deal, and he's making those types of plays, and I think they'll keep finding ways to get it to him. I was just going to say, probably going to go back to him. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Wilson. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. 
And he's got some space here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 34. The offense has to love that because that was just a dump down, and then he turned something out of seemingly nothing. And the best quarterbacks understand that dumping it down is often a good play, a better play than even what was drawn up. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They run with Samaje's younger cousin. This is LaMichael Pirine. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On right, second down, a run with Carter. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A good, strong run there by Michael Carter, reminiscent of his days at North Carolina. A thousand-yard rusher each of his last two years in Chapel Hill, despite being at a timeshare with Javante Williams, who was the second-round pick of the Denver Broncos. Carter, the second pick of the fourth round out of UNC. He could be the Jets' leading rusher moving forward. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now P. Ryan. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. On second down. It's Carter, and he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He'll check this one down to Carter. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Call it a gain of 7, and it gets him a new set of downs. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Oh, it's a jet sweep. Here's Davis. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Wilson and this one incomplete too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down once you get into the red zone spaces at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free that one's incomplete this has been a long drive you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown can they convert now on third and goal throwing is Wilson This has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did.
And his kick is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17 to three. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as King opts for the touchback. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Taylor's throw taken in there by Cooks. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark it down at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Quarterbacks love slam routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. First and ten, it's Taylor working the middle, and he's got it complete to Aikens, the tight end. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Now Taylor. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. To throw is Taylor. Cooks on the quick slant. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've had done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Taylor to throw. Out to the flat here for Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Only 
needing two yards on second down. Taylor. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Taylor. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Johnson. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Johnson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Texans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. <laughs> Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17 10. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it's David Johnson who provides the capper as he scores on the touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The rookie Zach Wilson in the Jet offense set to go to work once more. On first down. Dancing to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Wilson. Caught here by Griffin. First target, first catch at a first down. And eight yard pickup. First down, Jets. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Second and six. Let's go, 
fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Now a carry for Piran. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Wilson to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Here's the Jets punter now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Taylor and the Texans trailing 17-10. A minute 47 on the clock. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Now Taylor into the hands of Cooks. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Taylor connecting with Johnson. Give him six on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Taylor to throw. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Boy, how do you let a guy get that wide open in the two-minute drill? There's absolutely no way that that's coached or taught. That's an absolute complete breakdown on that play. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now it's Taylor. Complete to Aikens. That catch good for only a couple. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Here's Taylor. Taylor's got the first down and more. And down to the 19-yard line. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing now is Taylor. 
And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one is tempted to go for two. I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans, though, holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? So now this will be, in all likelihood, to force overtime. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. So now this will be, in all likelihood, to force overtime. And he has got it. So barring something crazy on the kickoff, we're looking at an extra period to decide this one. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the touchdown capped off by the PAT, and that means that we are likely heading to overtime. kicks away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Here's a give to Carter. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. 
still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Completes it to Davis. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They'll run on first down. It's Carter. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 49 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the shotgun, Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Davis. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. That puts him in field goal range, but let's face it. They don't want three here. They want six. Well, with these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 30-yard line. A handoff for Carter. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Wesco, the tight end, making the catch. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. through the turnstiles not happy looks on their faces feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime I would agree with that and and their unhappiness hurts the guys at concession stands on the way out right <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids they just want to get home but what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off I mean this game was dramatic all the way through that's why we got to overtime and then to go ahead and finish it this way the fans streaming out unhappy but the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. Well, Charles, we saw a comeback bid fall just a little short, but give them credit, they were able to hold on, withstand that comeback, and ultimately win it by the slim margin. And bottom line, when it's all said and done, they don't ask you how much you won by. They just want to know, did you win? And that they did. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long from Houston.